Hello there, my name's Fernando and I'm a developer advocate here at GitLab and today I'm going to go over the newly released GitLab Advanced SAST or Static Application Security Testing which scans your native source code files for vulnerabilities with reduced false positives, reduced time to resolution, and increased developer velocity. Now let's get started and learn more about this feature and stay tuned for the demo walkthrough. GitLab Advanced SAS is a static application security testing scanner designed to discover vulnerabilities by performing cross-function and cross-file taint analysis. By following the paths user inputs take, the scanner identifies potential points where untrusted data can influence the execution of your applications in unsafe ways such as SQL injections or cross-site scripting, which span across multiple files. Advanced SAS currently supports Python, Go, Java, JavaScript, TypeScript, and c -sharp, and more languages will be added in future releases. In order to enable GitLab's Advanced SAS, simply go to your .gitlab-ci.yaml file and within it include the SAST GitLab template and set the variable GitLab Advanced SAST Enable to true. Then any newly run GitLab pipeline will include the GitLab Advanced SAST job. When creating an MR to merge code from a feature branch to the main branch, GitLab Advanced SAST runs and detects the diff of vulnerabilities detected between branches. It is also fully compatible with GitLab's security policies in order to prevent insecure code from making it into production without approval. When clicking on a vulnerability, we get detailed information on how to resolve it as well as useful identifiers which can assist with remediation. In order to view vulnerabilities which GitLab Advanced SAST has detected in the default branch, we can use the vulnerability report. Then, we can go ahead and sort by GitLab Advanced SAST to see all the vulnerabilities detected by this analyzer. Here, we can see various vulnerabilities detected in this project. I'll go ahead and select improper neutralization of special elements and data query logic which will bring me to the vulnerability page. This page contains detailed information on the vulnerability, such as a description, its severity, location, as well as identifiers and training, which assist in remediating the code. New or existing issues can be added to this vulnerability to promote further collaboration between the dev and security team. GitLab Advanced SAST allows us to view the code flow by either clicking the View Code Flow button or selecting the Code Flow tab. This code flow view shows the paths user inputs take and any potential points where untrusted data can influence the execution of your application in unsafe ways. In this example, we can see source detection where user input can be tweaked by a malicious entity. We also see sync detection that shows sensitive function calls whose arguments should not be controlled by the user. In this particular example, Advanced SAST makes it easy to detect where we need to remediate the improper neutralization of special elements in data query logic. If a vulnerability spans across multiple files, those files will be displayed as shown in this example. Tracking the data flow through different functions in various files allows you to discover vulnerabilities at a deeper level, allowing you to see every area in which your application's security posture is impacted. Using this interface, we can also triage the vulnerability by changing its status. GitLab Advanced SAST is also fully compatible with GitLab Duo Chat's vulnerability explanation feature, which leverages LLMs in order to provide a detailed vulnerability explanation along with exploit and remediation examples. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed. To learn more about GitLab's Advanced SAST, see the links in the description and make sure to click that subscribe button 